All right, this is section 8.4, and we're covering volume and surface area. So just as a reminder from the last section, we talked about perimeter and circumference. And remember, that's just measuring length. So when we talk about area, we then multiplied length by width, for instance, when we did a rectangle, so the units were squared. Uh, and now we're talking about volume. So volume is three-dimensional objects, and the units are going to be cubic units. And then we're also going to talk about surface area. Surface area is uh, the area of the surface of a 3D object. Um, so basically, we're just going to find the area of the faces of that object, and we're going to add them together. So volume talks about what is inside. So how much can be contained in this object, whereas surface area is what is the area on the outside of the figure. So that's the difference between the two. And I forgot to mention that surface area, the units are going to be just like regular area. They're going to be squared. So you're going to have feet squared, inches squared, etc. So the ones that you have to memorize for the test uh, will be the rectangular solid. So you'll need to memorize the volume and surface area for that. The volume and surface area for the cube and the volume and surface area for the cylinder. So I'm going to go over all five of these, uh, but let's look at them together. So we can find the volume of a rectangular solid by taking length times width times height. Notice that length times width for a rectangle would give us the area, right? So now we're adding an, or we're multiplying another dimension, which is height, uh, to make it 3D. So we get length times width times height. For surface area, remember we're finding the area of the surface of the figure. So if we look at the front uh, face of this, uh, we can find the front face by multiplying length times height. Since I have a front of the box and a back of the box, then we have two of those. So we have two times length times height. That takes care of the front and back. The sides are the same. So this is the right side, and we also have the left side as well. Let's find the area of that we take width times height. So two times width times height will take care of the sides of the boxes. And then we have the top of the box and the bottom of the box. So the top of the box is going to be length times width. Uh, so we have top and bottom, so there's two of them. So two times length times width will give us surface area. So that's how that formula is derived, and um, if you don't want to memorize it, just know how it's derived, and there you go. Okay, cube. Before we did the area of a square, and we said that was S squared, so now we're adding the element of height, right? So we have this height here. So we multiply that by S, so the area now, or the volume, becomes side cube. Okay, surface area, remember we're finding the faces of these, and we're going to add them all together. So if I find the area of the front face, it's S squared, right? Side times side. And there's six faces to a cube. So that's how the surface area becomes 6 S squared. Okay. A cylinder. So the volume of a cylinder is the area of a circle, and then we're going to bring that area downward, right? So the area of a circle is pi r squared, and then we're multiplying that by height. So volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. And surface area. Okay, so the surface area, the area, the top and the bottom, is the area of a circle, which is pi r squared. And because I have two of them, I get 2 pi r squared. All right, so that takes care of the top, but now we have to find the surface area of the side. Now the surface area of the side, we have um, the distance around, and then we have times height, right? So the distance around, like if I would unpack that, the distance from here to here would be the circumference of the circle. So to find the circumference of the circle, it's 2 pi r, and then we're multiplying that by height. So that's how they get 2 pi r h. Okay. And then I add that to 2 pi r squared, which is the top and the bottom area of the circle, of the cylinder. So cone, if you know cylinder, cone is kind of easy to understand because a cone is a cylinder that you've cut off two-thirds of it. So it's still 
pi r squared h, but you're going to multiply that by one-third because that's how much you have left. Uh, the surface area becomes a little bit more difficult to uh, derive, but the, the top of it, if you think about it, it's, it's the area of a circle, so pi r squared. But this is where it gets tricky. We have this slanted line out here, so if I unpack that, it's not going to be this. You know, it's not going to be a rectangular form like a cylinder. It's going to be, you know, kind of like that, right? Um, so if we use Pythagorean theorem, we get the hypotenuse, which is here. So that's how they get r squared plus h squared. And then the pi r uh, comes from the circumference of the top of the circle. But the 2 goes away. So uh, that's why this one's a little bit more difficult to memorize. But the surface area is pi r squared plus pi r times the square root of r squared plus h squared. And finally, the sphere. So to find the volume of a sphere, it's 4 thirds pi r cubed. To find the surface area sphere, it's 4 pi r squared. Okay. All right. So now that we have the formulas, let's go ahead and try to do a couple problems. So here's the first example. Determine the volume and surface area of each of the following three-dimensional figures. When appropriate, use the pi key. Guys, do not use 3.14. You will get the wrong answer. Okay? And it says uh, round your answers in nearest hundreds. So let's do the first one. So part A, we can clearly see that that is a rectangular solid. And we're going to do the volume first. So volume is length times width times height. So the length is 10, the width is 2, and the height is 5. So volume equals length, which is 10, width, which is 2, and height, which is 5. So we're going to multiply these together. If I take 10 times 5, I get 50, and 50 times 2 gives me 100. So remember this is volume, so it's going to be feet cubed or cubic feet. Okay, so we know how much material can fit inside of that rectangular solid. Now we have to do surface area. So the formula for surface area is 2 times length times width plus 2 times length times height plus 2 times width times height. Okay, so I do 2 times the length, which is 10, times the width, which is 2, plus... 2 times the length, which is 10, times the height, which is 5, plus 2 times the width, which is 2, times the height, which is 5. Uh, 10 times 2 is 20, 20 times 2 is 40, plus 10 times 5 is 50 times 2, which is 100, and then 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 5 is 20. So I get 160, and this is feet squared. Okay, so I found the volume and surface area of that first figure. So now I'm going to, to handle B. So uh, B is a cylinder. Uh, so we're going to do the volume first. So the volume of a cylinder is um, pi r squared times height. Okay, so volume equals pi times my radius, which is 3, I'm going to square that, and then times the height, which is 7. So I follow order of operations, and I have to square 3 first. So this becomes pi times 9 times 7. So volume equals 63 pi. Um, so please have your, your calculator out when you do these with me. If you need to, you know, pause the video for a second and do it, go ahead. So I'm on my calculator right now, and I'm taking 63 times pi, and when I do that, I get 197.9, uh, and it says round your answer to the nearest hundred, so I'm going to put 9.2 here, and this should be uh, inches cubed. Okay, surface area of a cylinder. So the surface area of the cylinder is um, uh, pi r squared, so two of those plus uh, circumference is uh, 2 pi r times height. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Surface area equals 2 times pi. The radius is um, 3. I'm going to square that. Plus 
2 times pi, the radius is 3, times the height, which is 7. Okay, so the surface area equals um, 2 pi times 9 plus uh, 21 is 3 times 7. So let me do this in little bits. So 2 pi times 21. So surface area equals uh, 18 pi plus 42 pi. Okay, so if I add those together, I get 60 pi. So I'm going to put that in my calculator. And when I do that, I get... 188 point and it's 495 so I'm going to round this up to 50 and that's going to be in inches squared because we're talking about surface area okay so that's a and b let's go ahead and look at c and d so c we're talking about a cone okay so we need the formula for a cone I'm going to do the volume first, so volume equals one-third pi r squared times h, so it's the same as a cylinder, but the one-third is in front. So uh, if I look at this, I know my height is 7 and my radius is 3. So this becomes one-third pi times my radius, which is 3, I'm going to square that, times the height, which is 7. So one-third times pi times 9 times 7. I'm going to put the one-third times nine and then times pi times seven because I can cancel the three and the nine with the three. So three times seven times pi equals 21 pi. Okay, so I put that in my calculator and I get 65.97 and we're looking at this, this is inches cubed, okay? Now, surface area is that funky one. So the surface area of a cone uh, was given as pi r squared plus pi times r times the square root of r squared plus h squared. Okay, so we're going to plug this in. Pi times the radius squared, so 3 squared, plus pi times my radius, which is 3, times the square root of 3 squared plus 7 squared. Okay. All right, so I get 9 pi here plus 3 pi times the square root of 3 squared is 9 plus 7 squared, which is 49. Okay. Um, 9 plus 49 will give me 58. So I get 9 pi plus 3 pi times the square root of 58. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in onto the calculator. So 9 pi plus parentheses. Okay. 3 pi square root of 58. Uh, so I entered that into my calculator, and when I did that, the surface area equaled 100 Point zero five, and we're talking about surface area, so we're talking about inches squared. Okay, so we have the cone done, and the last one to do is the sphere. Okay, so to find the volume of the sphere, it's four thirds pi r cubed. Okay, so the radius, I don't know if you can see this too clearly or not, because my copy is not that great. To me, it looks like it says 6 centimeters. Okay, so that's the radius. So R equals 6 centimeters. So volume equals 4 thirds times pi times 6 cubed. Okay, so 6 cubed means 6 times 6 times 6, which is 216. So volume equals 4 thirds times 216 times pi. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, 216 times 4, and I'm going to get 864. Now I'm going to divide that by 3, uh, and that equals 288, and then I'm going to multiply that by pi.
And when I do that, the volume is 904, 78, and that's going to be centimeters cubed. Okay, so the surface area of a sphere was given to 4 pi r squared. So it's 4 times pi times my radius, which is 6 and squared. So this becomes 4 times pi. 6 times 6 is 36. Uh, I'm going to take 4 times 36 and do that. And I get 144, and then I'm going to multiply by that by pi. And when I do that, I got 452.39. And the uh, units are going to be centimeters squared for surface area. Okay, so we got those done. Uh, the next video is going to go over some of the more some more of the pages.